Solar System Formation Theories, The Birth of Planets. The formation of our solar system is a tale of cosmic evolution, where swirling clouds of gas and dust gave rise to the diverse array of planets, moons, asteroids, and comets that populate our celestial neighborhood. Scientists have developed several theories to explain the intricate processes that led to the birth of planets and other celestial bodies within the solar system. In this video, we explore the various solar system formation theories, shedding light on the dynamic forces that shaped our cosmic home. The birth of a solar system. The nebular hypothesis proposes that the solar system formed from a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula. As the nebula collapsed under its own gravity, it began to spin faster and flatten into a disk shape. Within this disk, material began to clump together due to gravitational attraction, forming protoplanetary disks that eventually coalesced into planets. Building planets from dust. The core accretion models suggest that planets form through the gradual accumulation of solid particles, or planetesimals, in the protoplanetary disk. As dust grains collide and stick together, they grow into larger bodies called planetesimals, which then merge to form planetary embryos. These embryos continue to accrete gas and dust until they reach sufficient mass to become fully-fledged planets. Rapid formation of gas giants. In contrast to the core accretion model, the disk instability theory proposes that giant planets like Jupiter and Saturn form quickly through the gravitational collapse of regions within the protoplanetary disk. Instabilities in the disk lead to the rapid formation of gas clumps, which eventually condense into gas giants. This theory accounts for the relatively short time scale required to form massive planets. Planetary migration and reshuffling the grand tack hypothesis suggests that the giant planets in the solar system underwent significant migration during their formation. According to this theory, Jupiter and Saturn migrated inward toward the Sun before reversing course and moving outward again. This migration reshaped the architecture of the solar system, influencing the formation and distribution of inner and outer planets. The Chaotic Early Solar System the late heavy bombardment theory proposes that the early solar system experienced a period of intense asteroid and comet impacts approximately 4.1 to 3.8 billion years ago. This period of chaos was triggered by gravitational interactions between the giant planets and small bodies in the outer solar system, leading to a surge in impact activity that shaped the surfaces of planets and moons. What is the nebular hypothesis and how does it explain the formation of the solar system? The nebular hypothesis proposes that the solar system formed from a rotating cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula. This theory suggests that as the nebula collapsed under gravity, it flattened into a disk shape with material gradually coming together to form planets and other celestial bodies. How does the core accretion model differ from the disk instability theory in explaining planet formation? The core accretion model suggests that planets form through the gradual accumulation of solid particles in the protoplanetary disk, eventually building up into planetary embryos. In contrast, the disk instability theory proposes that giant planets form rapidly through the gravitational collapse of gas clumps within the disk. What is the Grand Tack hypothesis and how does it impact our understanding of solar system formation? The Grand Tack hypothesis suggests that Jupiter and Saturn migrated inward toward the Sun before reversing course and moving outward again during the early stages of solar system formation. This migration influenced the architecture of the solar system and the distribution of inner and outer planets. What role did the late heavy bombardment play in the early solar system, according to the theories of solar system formation? The late heavy bombardment theory proposes that the early solar system experienced a period of intense asteroid and comet impacts around 4.1 to 3.8 billion years ago. This period of chaos, triggered by gravitational interactions among the giant planets and small bodies, shaped the surfaces of planets and moons. How do scientists study and refine theories of solar system formation? Scientists study solar system formation through a combination of observations from space missions, laboratory experiments, and computer simulations. By analyzing data from celestial bodies, conducting experiments, and simulating planetary processes, 
researchers gain insights into the complex mechanisms that led to the birth of planets and the evolution of the solar system. Like the video and remember to subscribe to our channel.